My name is Jane Moon, and I'm an anesthesiologist in Los Angeles. I was a Wood Library Museum Fellow in 2018. I will be discussing with you the Arthur E. Goodell Archives Collection, with a focus on his personal correspondence. The original letters are currently housed in the University of California, San Francisco, or UCSF archives at the Medical School Library, but copies of the collection are also available at the Wood Library Museum. I will begin by giving a brief biography of Goodell. Arthur E. Goodell was born into a blue-collar family in rural Indiana in 1883. His family moved to Indianapolis in his youth, and he dropped out of middle school to help his parents financially. When he was 14, he lost three fingers of his right hand while working at a sawmill. Due to this devastating injury, Goodell gained a heightened understanding of human suffering. Despite this handicap, he returned to work full-time through high school, and in his free time, mastered swimming, wrestling, and the piano. He also read textbooks voraciously, and with the help of a family friend, passed an entrance exam for Indiana Medical College, which merged into the Indiana University School of Medicine during his time there. He graduated with first honors, and in his early career, he patented a device for women in labor to self-administer nitrous oxide. During World War I, Goodell was stationed in France. After one violent battle, he worked 72 hours straight, oversaw 40 operating rooms, and was appalled by the lack of anesthesia training in the Army Medical Corps. In response, he, he began to train hundreds of inexperienced personnel to deliver ether anesthesia according to his eye signs. He became known as the motorcycle anesthetist who biked through the muddy French terrain daily to oversee anesthesia at several base hospitals. After the war, Goodall stayed involved with both academic and private practice work and met Ralph Waters at national anesthesia meetings. Goodell and Waters, who were the same age, quickly became friends and started to work on the modern cuffed endotracheal tube. Goodell hosted a well-publicized experiment at Indiana University in 1928, the same year that Waters became chair of the first academic department of anesthesiology at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. During the display, Goodell's pet dog, named Airway, was sedated, intubated with a cuff tube, and then submerged in an aquarium. After Goodell lectured for an hour, he removed the dog from the tank and successfully extubated him. Airway then got up to his feet, shook the water from his fur, and trotted off stage to applause. Soon after the experiment, Goodall gave his pet to Waters as a parting gift before moving to California. When Goodell arrived in Los Angeles, he joined the faculty at the University of Southern California and also did private practice work. In his spare time, he invented the modern oral airway, which some still call the Goodell airway out of soft and flexible rubber. He also published a foundational text called Inhalational Anesthesia. From Los Angeles, Goodell maintained a lively correspondence with numerous people, including pharmacologist Chauncey Leake and anesthesia equipment manufacturer Richard Foraker. The bulk of his letters was exchanged with fellow anesthesiologists like Ralph Waters, Paul Wood, John Lundy, Henry Ruth, and Noel Gillespie. Common themes in the correspondence include clinical and scientific observations, advice to his friends on how to live well, disclosure of personal struggles and triumphs, and discussion of political issues during the birth period of American academic anesthesiology, as well as the American Society of Anesthesiologists, or ASA. This correspondence is arguably the gem of the Arthur E. Goodell Anesthesia Collection, which as of 2015 has been primarily housed in the Archives and Special Collections Department of the UC San Francisco Medical Library. It is a vast collection that includes many different physical formats, including written materials, photographs, audio recordings, artifacts, and medical equipment. Major donors of the material have included the Goodell family, Richard Gill, Dr. William Neff, and Dr. John Pender. Out of this collection, a photocopied set of the complete correspondence was donated to the Wood Library Museum. Now I would like to highlight a letter written by Arthur Goodell to his good friend Ralph Waters on August 1st, 1929 as an example of what can be found in these archives. 
Goodell begins the letter by making a reference to the often spirited debate that occurs in his communication with Waters. He then shares an amusing story of how he anesthetized a fellow anesthesiologist for an appendectomy that started with a spinal but ended with likely inhalational technique due to the length of the case. He discusses successful supplementation of his spinals with sodium amytal, a barbiturate der derivative, to provide greater comfort to the patient. The letter then goes on to touch upon various topics, including the use of carbon dioxide as a stimulant, Goodall's improving hand tremor, the inclusion of a reprint of a paper on ether anesthesia, a recent visit by one of Waters' medical students, and finally, a personal inquiry about the status of Airway, their beloved dog. Thank you for listening. If you would like to find out more information about these letters, please contact the Wood Library Museum of Anesthesiology.